This video was a couple weeks ago, but this is how to change the oil in your 7500 watt owning generator. This is actually going a whole lot quicker and easier than I thought. There's this filter, and I just took it off. This is all I had, so I took it off with this. This is the one that the truck stop usually uses. You can use that number, lube refiner. But uh, I'm using this one. This is the oil filter. This is the fuel filter. And this is the air filter. And you'll have to call around your separate uh, um, Napa's because Filter Friday, they have half price filters. So all I did was I took this uh, 3 8 ratchet. This is the drain plug. Actually, I'll get back under here and uh, put it back in. You just squeeze these two tabs together and this and this drops open from under here. Oh, that gets the other one, but let's see here. Switch hands in the drain plug. It's marked oil drain plug right there. So you just put that back in. Snug it up with the ratchet good and uh, you're good to go. I'm gonna take that funnel and pour my gallon of oil back into um, a gallon jug. And then the fuel filter, you can leave that flap down. Fuel filter's right there. I have it converted to uh, the regular worm style clamps. Come on focus, worm style clamps on both ends so that uh, you can get them off the factory has a, a clip kind but uh, I forget what it was $114 for all the filters and I got two sets so half of that's you know about 60 bucks we're just doing this out here in the parking lot VRP. 60 bucks and then half price filters if you can get them I'm sure you can get cheaper filters for down to about, you know, 30 bucks, something like that if you shop around. But this maintenance here, guys, you can get better filters, do it yourself, and it's still cheaper. But I got to go through and clean this out sometime. Okay, hang on. As usual, make sure you clean that surface really well before you screw the new filter on. And I just dipped a little bit of the new oil in the seal. Then what I just do is put the, screw the filter on, tighten it by hand, kind of get it about as tight as I can without really, you know, a whole lot of exertion. But uh, it needs to be on there pretty tight, but if you put it on with your hand, then you should be able to take it off with your hand. Then just take the old, uh, take the old drain plug and put a good, good snugging on it. You don't want to break that sucker off and you don't want to tighten it too tight to where you strip it getting it off. All right, then under here, this is the filter. And this goes on top of it. So you got to factor that's up in there, up in this hole right here. If you reach around, you'll feel the first wing nut. You take that off, you pull that cover off there, and then the second wing nut holds this on. Then you take this off pull the air filter off she's dirty ready to be replaced so I don't see any removable seals I don't see any directional on there so we're gonna go ahead and drop this back in the new one 